scout ship settings. Lord Artorius' speech really struck a chord with me. I'm sure everyone else in town feels the same way. Actually, it would be problematic if they don't. Why would you have a problem with that? One word, lady. Business. The ceremony to move the great Empyrean Enominat is going on now, right? After a speech as moving as that, anyone would want to offer a prayer to the new Empyrean. Which is why I'm selling commemorative chalices. They've just come in from Port Zexon. Oh, Enominat's blessings are many indeed. Are you decorating the chalices with anything? I'm just about to deliver them to the craftsmen to get them engraved. I just hope all this effort doesn't go to waste. Impossible! This is the perfect opportunity. I guess amateurs just don't get it. <laughs> I may not know business, but I know how this story ends. Artorius, this ceremony, all of it. I'll end this by my own hand. I've been feeling really out of it recently. I was much happier when I was drinking sweet, sweet nectar. It suddenly got a lot harder to get. The price shot up 20 times in the black market. I came to the capital hoping it'd be easier to find, but no one's got any. Give it up. It's got vermilion ore in it. What? Vermilion ore? I heard that stuff is crazy addictive. Real bad news. It'll be easier to quit now that it's harder to find. Real sailors don't need that crap, right? Yeah, you're right. I don't need nectar. From now on, I'm going to the bar after work. Hey, buddy, thanks for the tip. What's the matter, Laffy said? You look like you're not feeling well. Doesn't he always? You can stay out of this. You're a demon swordsman. Aizen is a cursed Moloch. Mogilu is a bizarre witch. But... what am I? <laughs> Turning existential here. You're Velvet's tool and emergency rations, aren't you? 
That's what Lady Teresa called me too. A tool. But... I'm alive. Ah, uh, I get it. You're starting to wonder what your place in the world is. In that case, there's only one answer. You have to decide it. Huh? It's all up to you. It depends on what you want. That's what it means to be alive. You control the rudder of your life. Your hands on the wheel. My life. My rudder. Doubts are okay, too. They're just further proof you're alive. I'll protect you until you find your answer. Your arts have helped me often enough. All right. I don't really understand. But thank you. Pretty, pretty words and all. But take care who you listen to, kid. Demons and Reapers, remember? I hear there's a wicked witch about, too. Get going or get left behind. Ah! We risk the wrath of the revenging reprobate! For now, let our rudders take us forward! Did the Sylph Jay reach your men? Yeah, they're scouting the checkpoints. They're not back yet? No, but they won't be long. Let's rest for a bit. I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. We'll rest until the scouts are back then. No way! You managed to get some? Shh, idiot! Not so loud! Behold! The finest drink there is, Ilyanya Red! If Benwick and the others find out we have it, they'll drink the whole thing. Wait, you didn't tell them about it? Of course not! Those guys couldn't care less what they stuffed down their gullets, as long as it gets the job done. The subtle notes of this exquisite libation would be lost on those louts. Well said. Now I believe some Rucarella cheese would compliment this Ilyanya nicely. We'll have to hide the bottle until we can get our hands on some. <laughs> Leave that to me. Wow, talk about oblivious. There we go. Fully stocked and ready to sail. Great. We set sail the moment the scouts get back. 
Stay here and be ready to go at a moment's notice. Aye, aye. There's no telling what'll happen at the Empyrean's throne. Be ready for the worst. Is there something worse than being around you, First Mate? <laughs> Just be ready. Aye, aye, aye. If anything goes wrong, send a Sylph J, and we'll come running. Be ready for the worst, huh? Too. Aren't I the kindest girl alive? An apple. Would you like one? This time I want you to crow like a No, thank you. Miss? Are you really planning to fight Artorius? Well, the boy did ask me so sweetly. B but you'd have no chance! Are you defying me? Did the old man give you orders? Then you're coming with me. If things get too hot, we can run. And if we die, then... That's that. I know. You're a quick one, little Bienfu. But I do hope you'll struggle as long as possible. I need you around for when I'm bored, after all. Is it good? It's tart, and yet sweet. No thanks. I wouldn't be able to taste it anyway. Oh. You sure like the sea? I... I'm afraid of the sea. The waves. Sharks. All this strange fish. But at the same time, it's huge and full of wonder. When I let myself think about what might be over the horizon, it's exciting. My brother... He loved the sea, too. Your brother? Really? He'd sit on the cape, just staring at it. I told him he'd catch cold in that ocean wind, but he never listened to a word I said. Your way of looking at the world is so much like his. I wish... I wish I bought him that compass. I wish we could have traveled together, like he wanted. Hey! The scouts are back, everyone! Lafisat, you know you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I... I'm going with you, Velvet. I see. You say he was using a pendulum? Aye, sir. And he blasted all the inspectors. I think he'd be a match for even the captain. Thank you. I'll look into this for myself. Hold it. What's going on? The Exorcist inspection team was attacked by a pendulum-wielding Moloch. The same type of weapon was found at the place the captain vanished from. 
And so you think the attacker is the one who took the captain? I don't know, but this can't be coincidence. Eifried is in the custody of exorcists. Why would they attack their own? What will you do? One of your keys is running off. I'm going after him. If they're already in disarray, causing more confusion will only benefit us. Pandemonium! My favorite! Eisen sure picked an inconvenient time to run off, though, didn't he? I can't blame him. He's got his own purpose. Well, you're good, whoever you are. I'm Aizen, the Reaper, and Eifried's first mate. A buddy of Eifried's? Oh, this'll be too good. So you are the one who took Captain Eifried from us. Oh yeah, that's the spirit, pal. Aizen, calm yourself. He's a Moloch, and he's against the Abbey. If we work together, we can pass the barrier. Don't give me your peacemaking crap. I'm settling this my way. Right here, right now. Stay out of this! I see. Well, two can play at that game. I'll handle this in my way. 
I'll beat you both until you're helpless. Then open that barrier. Why does it have to be like this? No. I hope I'm quiet and help you out there. Otherwise, you'll bite our heads off. True. Forgive us, Isaac. Yeah. I'll set you. Revenge. Deception. Hold up. Give me. One, two. Treat, you know that? So, what's your plan after you punch through this barrier? Kill the shepherd. Damn, that's a new one. She's dead serious. All right, all right. You won the fight. What do you want me to do? Are you ready, my merry little Malakim? Now, line up before the barrier. Rest is up to you. I just want to see the panic on the exorcist's faces. Hold it. I still have questions for you. That's enough for now, Aizen. If you persist, one of us will end up dead. <clears throat> Who are you? Tell me. Zavid the Whirlwind. A fighter, nothing more. The barrier is gone. I won't stop you from going after him. No. I walk with you. Besides, Melchior is still my surest link to Eifried's whereabouts. <laughs> Could have saved a lot of trouble if you'd listened to me from the start. If I had good judgment, I wouldn't be where I am in the first place. You really are a fool. They're all alive. Just unconscious. A fighter, not a killer, huh?
Your style is really unique. Aizen? I'm sorry. About earlier. The fight, you mean? Don't worry about it. I'll hate you until I'm in the grave, though. Ugh. A jest. I just... I didn't know what I should do. It's fine to take your time to decide. But as with everything, the choice is ultimately your own. And if your choice leads to killing me, I won't complain. Yeah. But by the same token, it might end up with me killing you. Yeah, I guess so. Ugh, I talk too much. That Zavid bastard's got me all riled up. Scout ships. The guards are all Malakim. They really do keep humans away from here. But why build a new temple out here? 
the shepherd could build in the capital just as easily. This place... You feel it too? There's... powerful energy flowing underground. Right. This is a focal point of the Earth Pulse. The natural energy of the land. The perfect spot to worship Enominat. Hmm. <laughs> or to attack him. I thought I ordered no one to enter. F forgive me. I would not have intruded, but there was an incident at the villa in Logres. Eleanor, where are your mother, Kim? They... they were eaten by the left arm of a demon. Velvet. What? You know of her? She was a student of mine. So she has bested Oscar, Teresa, and now you. Lord Artorius, I ask that you grant me fresh Malachim. I vow to destroy that demon. You are overcome with emotion. Will you fight a demon with your hatred? P please I beg you to forgive my foolishness. She broke the resolve of even an exemplary disciple like you. My lord, if I may, there is but one thing I must ask. Why is there a giant demon held captive at the villa? Entry to that place is forbidden to all but legates, Eleanor. It was restrained by a Moloch barrier. How could such a monstrous thing like that be held in the capital? Eleanor, why is it you think that birds fly? Huh? It's... so... they can hunt and catch prey, is it not? <sighs> you are dismissed. That knowledge is not for you. <sighs> So Velvet is coming. The ties that bind us must at last be severed. Hmm. Our fighter doesn't seem to be hiding anywhere nearby. I sensed him rush away with great speed! Zavid the Whirlwind, huh? He was tough. He seemed to know Eifried, too. What's the story there? I don't know. Ask him. He used a pendulum as a weapon. When we first met Aizen, he said something about a pendulum, didn't he? It was the only clue he had in his search for Eifried. I'm surprised at how far he's come on something so vague. Does Zavid have something to do with Eifried's disappearance? I don't think this Zavid is a killer. I didn't feel it in him at all. I have a feeling we might cross paths again. He is tangled with the Abbey somehow. He... didn't seem that bad to me. Yeah, he seems like a guy who would be hard to hate. Hate him or not, if he gets in our way, he's in for a beating. Now that's what a killer looks like! You'll be rust on my blade! <laughs> They were nothing.
What was that? Some sort of contrivance using Moloch arts. Probably part of their security system, I'd say. Obviously. We should keep our eyes open for any more surprises. Unleashed all my power. Maybe I overdid it. Let's move on. Don't waste my time. We're finished here. Let's go. See this? 
a peculiar air about you. Yeah. Don't get overconfident. One down. I'll cut down anyone in my way! Don't waste my time. Well then, let's move on. Poe is ready to fight. But I'm this close. I want this! Form zero! Stop fooling around. You'll be rust on my blade.
I'll cut down anyone in my way! They were nothing.
Always ready to fight. Well, that about does it. I wish I had power like that. I'd forget about it if I were you. Scout ship.
How is it now, Aizen? Hmm. I feel like whatever you did caused some sort of change. Let's just pray they can't change it back anytime soon. I'll pass on the praying. I've come here to make a mess of this temple, remember? Ooh, you've got spunk. I like that. As long as you know what you're doing, then.
Velvet, what is Artorius's method of fighting? He wields a long sword in his left hand, and he once had a Moloch named Ceres who used fire. Had, but I killed her. And since then, he's tethered a new Moloch called Enominat to use in her place? As far as I know, yes. But I can't imagine a new Moloch will work with him as well as Ceres did. Must be pleasant to always assume the best. If I'm wrong, that's where all of you come in. The four of you will strain his tether to the Moloch. Then I'll chew through it, at which point Artorius becomes nothing more than a simple human. But how will you get close to him in the first place? I'll use Lafayette's arts. He will cut me. He will burn me. And I will keep charging forward. Your job is to keep healing me so that I can stay on my feet. A sacrificial assault, then. Oh, it's not a bad plan. There's a good chance you'll catch him off guard. If you don't immediately die. But... but... Velvet... you'll... That's an order. Uh, <gasps> All right. So in the end, you're still just a tool to her. Bet that hurts. <sighs> He's here. Miss Mogilu, does that demon Velvet really mean to kill Shepard Artorius? What is she thinking? I can't say. Perhaps she's not thinking at all. No, she said something about him killing someone. She said it during his speech, right? I heard her too. She has some feud with Artorias. Her hate for him flows deep. I wonder what her connection to Lord Artorius is. Don't call him Lord. Trust me. What? You'll understand when the time comes. If she's still alive to face Artorias, that is. Precisely. The fires of her hatred are all-consuming. Who will they burn in the end? Hmm? <gasps> it's a dangerous path we walk, but a debt is a debt. Come along, Lafayette. Okay. Demons and Malachim. Unlikely companions, to say the least. Ceres is here too. In my stomach. So you chose to be a mother bird, Ceres. 
Things will be different this time. I will have my revenge. Revenge for Lapiset! Uh Very well. It is time. So this is the shepherd's style. Boy, howdy, are we dead? But he has no molecules. Remember the plan. Right. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. I will not let you win so easily. I will use my full strength, as is just and proper. Aid me, Innominat! His wounds have vanished! Such power. Is it really? That is cheating! Why do... I... I remember you. That night. A terrible night. <laughs> More... More healing. <laughs> it's impossible! We have to run! You won't escape this time. I beg your pardon, Lord Artorius. 
I had assumed Master Shigure was attending you. The failure is mine. Oh. Shigure is out training. Besides, Batman would like to see my blood spilled more than anyone. Same as ever. Ah, he thinks only of himself. Look what happened with Ifrid. So you are Melchior. No, Artorius. The one who most wants to spill your blood is me! Master Artorius, allow me to quiet this demon. Doesn't it hurt? Aren't you in pain? Why, Velvet? Why do you go on fighting? Because... Luffy sent me so much more pain than I ever will. And still, I... I couldn't do anything for him. Sorry. I'm sorry. Velvet. Colluding with demons. Number two, your punishment must be severe. Kill the demon. Then, end your own life. No. Have you forgotten our pact? Your mistress is giving you an order. with the Earth Pulse. Extraordinary. I begin to see. Still, giving your brother's name to a Moloch. You've strayed so far. Velvet, wake up. Oh, just let me sleep a little more, Celica. You rascal. Don't you remember the task I entrusted you with? The task? Yes. I asked you to take care of him. <gasps> oh. Where am I? Did they... kill me? My wounds are gone. Fever. Uh... Please don't die, Velvet. You saved my life. 
Now it's my turn to save you. First, we've got to get out of here. Just hang in there, Luffy said. It should be around here somewhere. go now. Where is this place anyway? the exit what the hell is this place it's an earth pulse so you survived let's not count our blessings just yet it looks like we've been sealed inside but at least we're still alive can't say the same would be true if we stayed in that place an earth pulse so that's what this is yeah it's like a river flowing with nature's life energy. Earth pulses can be found all over the world, but normally you can't see or interact with them. Then how'd we wind up inside one? When Inominat and Lafayette's power collided, the shock must have torn it open. If that's the case, it's possible that Lafayette possesses the power to return us home, but... Uh... He can't do much in this state. He's liable to turn into a demon any moment now. Don't talk like that! Is this because he overused his powers? It's not too late to stop it. If a Moloch occupies a pure vessel, he can be prevented from transforming into a demon. Even you? This lucky coin is my vessel. There's a catch to this one, though. It can only serve as a vessel for someone with the Reaper's powers. Then that's no help at all. An exorcist would work. 
We offer our own bodies as vessels for Malakim, so that we can use them for the Abbey's purposes. I volunteer to serve as your Moloch's vessel. I see. So we just need your body with us, not your legs. Not one step closer! I'll kill myself before you lay a hand on me. The Moloch will become a demon, and you'll be stuck here forever! You don't mince words, do you? Know your foes and strike where they're weak. The basis of all combat. As cowardly as I'd expect from a disciple of Artorius. No, this is personal. Once I regain my exorcist powers, I vow to challenge you, Demon Velvet! If I lose, I'll do whatever you wish. If you want me to die or to become a vessel, so be it. <laughs> uh, uh, Velvet, don't die. Fine. What's the Moloch's name? Normally, it is decided by their masters, but since I do not own him yet, I need to know. He's not a thing to be owned. He's Lafayette. <laughs> Lafayette. I see. O oh, child of the Fountain of Creation, these vows we exchange. May our purpose, resplendent, help to purify this cursed world. Remember this true name I bestow unto you. Such... such power! How the hell did we end up here? What's going on? That little brat! He actually unsealed the Earth Pulse? What was that? Huh. Guess this is the end of the Velvet World Tour Revengeathon. What an anticlimax. Not that I really care either way. We don't know that she's dead. Dead or alive, she's done. No way she'd keep going after seeing how outmatched she is. Bet you ten gold that I'm right. Ten gold? You're on. What in the... Luffy said, what did that exorcist do? What happened to you? I see. So that exorcist woman pledged herself as Lafayette's vessel? Where did she head off to, then? If you two wound up here, then odds are that exorcist disappeared somewhere nearby. Then we'll find her. Sheesh, are you never not worked up about something? I said I would save him, so I will. Besides... His power is just what I need. Don't you forget our little wager now, alright? My darling Ted and Gold! Murdered in his crib by a thug! I won't let her get away from me. Scout ships.
Don't get careless! on my way. So exorcists are actually the vessels for their Malachim. You can do that too, can't you, Mogulu? Of course! This fair maiden has won the Malachim's Choice Award, Most Desirable Vessel, three years running! Oh? Then you wouldn't mind replacing Eleanor as Lafayette's vessel, I hope. Thanks! But no thanks. I have my hands full dealing with Bienfu as it is. If I ate Bienfu, you'd have room. Still wouldn't work, kiddo. You saw it with your own eyes. Even if only for an instant, that kid actually held his own against the power of Inominat. Not even the resplendent Mogilu can handle something of that power. Indeed. After everything we've seen, it's obvious there's more to Lafayette than meets the eye. Yeah, but that Eleanor woman was still able to become his vessel. That's because, unlike Miss Mogilu, Madam Eleanor actually tries! Anyway, we need to find her and beat her. She'll just bring us more trouble the longer she's out there. Oh, we'll find her. No doubt about it. This looks like some kind of ruin. Where are we? Judging from the style of the walls and columns, I'd say this place is an ancient underground temple of Eumacia. Eumacia, the Empyrean of Earth. So it was by no coincidence that the Earth Pulse led us here. How did the temple builders know where to dig to connect to an Earth Pulse? Did they just get lucky? Just wham, there it is. An Earth Pulse doesn't work that way. It's a flow of natural force ordinary humans can't sense. But in those days, there were more humans capable of sensing that which others couldn't. 
It was people like that who guided the rest to build their temples closer to the Earth pulses, closer to their gods. Uh-huh. So, since Empyreans control the forces of nature, people viewed the Earth pulses as embodiments of the gods themselves. Is that it? Right. In the time when Empyrean worship was at its peak, temples like this were built all over. And I'm guessing they all looked pretty similar, so until we go outside, we're no closer to knowing where we are. That sums it up. Hmm. I wonder if they found any high-quality ore when they dug this hole. You know, for making swords. <sighs> I don't know why I bother explaining anything to you. You know, I'm starting to think you just enjoy it. <sighs> again well look who set up shop here you couldn't have shown up at a better time we need more supplies I'm happy to help you all but this time I really really needs to charge a little extra how much extra are we talking here Ooh, you haven't heard the stories little turtles word has it there's a spooky monster that's been eating traveling merchants around these parts <laughs> eating merchants she takes the shape of a black-haired girl, and when she finds greedy merchants, she gobbles them up head first. Although, if the greedy merchant was a turtle's, I bet she'd start with the crunchy shell. Ah! I'm not greedy, I swears it. Look, I have special sales going on. Everything's marked down to normal prices. How generous of you. Magulu, give the nice turtles the smile he lives for. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Much obliged. <laughs> Thank you. 
Looks like you want to die. Unarmed? Hardly. These are deadly weapons. Thank you. 
victory is ours.
You'll be rust on my face! <laughs> If you want to live, get out. Scout. Sh
Looks like you want to die. Your style is really unique. I thought you'd be long gone. I apologize for disappearing on you. I was there, and then in the next moment, I was gone. And Lafayette? He's resting inside me. As far as I can tell, he seems healthy again. Your name's Eleanor, right? If I defeat you, you'll be his vessel and follow my orders until the day you die. I accept. But conversely, should you lose, I will take your life. Do you plan on fighting alone? I can handle myself. Like to help you fight. Of course! This duel is me versus you! I'd better not hear any excuses after your defeat, then! Here it comes!
see you're not using Lafisa to help you fight. Of course! This duel is me Me versus you! I'd better not hear it. Any excuses after your defeat then? Yeah. Food's ready. It's nothing special. I see you're not using lockers to help you fight. Yes, oh. Of course! This duel ah. is me for no mercy! Wounds that will be We're done here. Never let your guard down, even when victorious! Why did you stop? I know you can't kill me as long as I'm his vessel. I'm just abiding by the same terms. Had you won, you'd have killed me. True, but a duel is a duel. The Abbey shaped you well. However! <laughs> Once your sword is drawn, never waver. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle, right? Lord Artorius' teachings? <gasps> what a failure I have been. I'll... I'll keep my word. I will follow your orders. To the day I die! Don't! My body... I can't move! How? Since when can a Moloch overpower his own vessel? Luffy said, are you feeling better now? Y yeah. Looks like her body is reacting to the bond. Yeah, I know the drill. She'll get a high fever and stay zonked out for a bit. No biggie. Carrying her will slow us down. We can't afford that risk when we're venturing into parts unknown. Let's rest here until she's recovered, then. She's one of us now, isn't she? As long as she's Lafayette's vessel. That's true.
a demon, a Moloch, a witch, and now an exorcist. We've turned into a real band of misfits. I didn't have any other choice. We're stuck with her. Yeah, I know. We can't afford to lose Lafayette. Now that we know the full extent of Inominat's strength, we need that boy more than ever. Do you think Inominat really is an Empyrean? You got me, but I do know this. Whatever he is, he's no ordinary Moloch, and the Abbey intends on using that power. To what end, I couldn't say. If we're going to win this, we need to uncover Inominat's true nature and the Abbey's secret goals. Indeed. At the very least, I think we can safely assume that Eifried's disappearance is part of their schemes. We might be able to extract some information out of that Eleanor woman as well. Agreed. But no torture. I'm not shattering our only vessel. Yeah, I get that. Given the pact they share, if Eleanor goes down, Lafayette becomes a demon, right? What? No one told me that! That's just how it is between Moloch and Vessel. I know she's a threat, but we need to keep her close for the time being. Well, we sure are in it deep now. Man, Artorius and Nominat. Either one of them's a force to be reckoned with. Then why do you look so happy? Because I'm still alive. And if I'm alive, I can fight. You're certainly... optimistic. That's just the sort of demon I am. What about you, though? You gonna call that whole revenge thing off? If only. That's just the sort of demon I'm not. Then we need to find a way to beat them. You can mope after you're dead. We? You're still going to help? Yeah. After all, I wouldn't be here if said hadn't saved my life. Surely you know me by now. I might not look it, but duty and honor flow through my veins. Hey, don't overwork yourself. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Isn't it obvious? I... I disobeyed you, Velvet. Don't sweat it. I'm still alive thanks to you. I just... I didn't want to see you die. That's why I... why I did that. To save you. I'm sorry too. Acting the way I did. Treating you like an object. When I came with you, that was my own choice. You gave me the freedom to choose. And what would you choose now? 
We only have more troubles ahead. You're still going to fight, aren't you? Yeah, I can't stop now. Even so, I've made my choice. I'm coming with you. I see. Anyway, it's not like I have any idea where we are now. That's a good point. Ahaha! Ah but an object misused is one thing, a person misused is quite another. What's your point? What's your point, is what I want to know. Not only did you blow the whole revenge thing, you didn't even leave a scratch. Do you have any plan on where to go from here? I'll admit it. The Nominat's power is far beyond what I could ever have imagined. But I'll never give up. No matter how many times I have to try, I'll devour them all. Bet you 100 gold you break first. Huh? You heard me. 100 gold says that you give up. I lost a bet with Rokuro when you had to go and survive! Cost me 10 gold! I'm just looking to come out on top. Whatever. Fine. Oh, then it looks like we have a bet. There might be some fun in me sticking around after all. Not that I much care how it all turns out. I'm just looking to kill time. Hey, Velvet. I've got something that might help with Inominat. Oh. Is this that book you took from the villa? It is. Look closely at the crest on the cover. It's the same one from the temple. Does that book say anything about Inominat? Yes. But I can't read it. It's written in the ancient tongue. Oh, don't cry, baby boy. My friend Grimoire might be able to decipher that for you. Really? Well, maybe, maybe not. She'd have to take a look first. Well, where is she? Your friend, I mean. No idea. The last letter I got from her was sent for me salt down in South Gand. Not much to work with here. True, but I'll have fun watching you try. Oh, I'll find her. Don't you worry about that. That's the spirit. Don't give up just yet. <sighs> we'll rest inside these ruins. You're still weak. All the things. A damned demon watching over me. How could I have let this happen? I'm such a disgrace. <laughs> to atone for this grave sin. I can do. Forgive me, Lord Artorius. It's milk. 
Melchior's communication art! I send Melchior to check out the Earth Pulse. And what a strange sight does he find. My lord, I have failed you. Lift your head, Eleanor. The Shepherd has a special mission for you. A special mission? You are to protect the Malak Lafiset and bring him to the Logris Abbey headquarters. This mission is highly classified and not to be shared with even the Legates. Protect the Malak and bring him to the capital then? With the utmost secrecy, your becoming his vessel is in fact quite fortunate. Maybe so. But with me as his vessel, the Malak may interfere. This Malak may have his own will, but he can be manipulated. Do whatever it takes to get the job done, Eleanor. You act under my full authorization. Even were it to mean obeying the orders of a demon? But, my lord, what Malak could possibly be that valuable? Are you saying you cannot? Shame is only a fleeting emotion. It is will and reason that ultimately prevail in the face of calamity. My lord, I live to serve the principles of your teachings. The Earth Pulse will soon close. From here on, you must use your own discretion to execute your mission. You're up. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Listen. Don't try anything like that again. Pain is... Pain is scary, right? I'm alright. No more running away. I'm Lafayette. It's good to finally meet you properly, Eleanor. Y yeah likewise Don't worry. If you try running, you won't get far. Once I've eaten your arms and legs, I merely need you alive to act as his vessel. Nothing more. That won't be necessary. I swore an oath before our duel. An oath grants power in exchange for a certain constraint. Mine was, if I lose, I will obey my opponent. Once put in motion, an oath cannot be broken by the one who swore it. I will keep my promise to you because I must. Hmm. An oath, is it? In that case, I have a question for you. What does the Abbey plan to do with the Nominat? To wipe out the demons, of course. We want to end the era of disaster once and for all. And how exactly does the Abbey plan on wiping out the demons? Is the Nominat going to wander the land, slaughtering them all? They... they never told me. And Nominat's ritual is kept confidential even within the Abbey. All I know is that it involves Melchior. Then it looks like the only way we'll figure out Inominat's true nature is by deciphering Lafisette's book. We'll have to track down Mogilu's friend, the one who can read the ancient tongue. If we go to Isultan Southgand, we ought to find some clues to her whereabouts. But first, we have to figure out where we are now. We need to find a settler or a village. Something. <laughs> I'm surprised us chuckleheads even know our own names. Even the greatest scholars don't know everything at first. You can't get answers without asking for them. <laughs> Fair enough. Hard to argue with that. I've never seen a Moloch quite like him. Eleanor, your job is going to be to protect Lafayette, even if it brings you into conflict with other exorcists. Because if you turn on me... I know. Like I said, I can't betray you. Listen, Lafayette. If she makes any strange moves, I want you to stop her immediately, okay? I don't think Eleanor is such a bad person. Besides, she's oath-bound to her promise. She's lying, obviously. That's only something you do if your life depends on it. Yep. 
An oath is an art that takes complex rituals and lots of hard work and time. Hardly worth the trouble, to be honest. I told you already. She wants to take you away from us. Women are creatures of deceit, boy. I if you say so. She's right. Of course that goes doubly so for Velvet the Vengeful Villainess. Well, I won't deny it. What is it, Lafayette? I was told that women's looks can be deceiving, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to see. That's an age-old problem for men. You with me, Eisen? Aye. Women are fickle creatures at best. They lie as easily as they breathe, and men can never see through their deceptions. I totally feel you. Sounds like you've both been through hard times. The wounds women leave on a man's heart take longer to heal than a cut delivered by a sword. Uh, it's that bad? Beware a maiden's tears, boy, and guard yourself well. That's my advice to you. Beware tears and guard myself. Don't put any weird ideas into Lafayette's head, you two. They're just facts. If you fill his head with any more garbage, I'm eating both of you. Yes, ma'am. Yikes. The swordsman and the pirate having troubles with women? Ha! <laughs> well, women are nothing if not difficult. I have the deepest sympathy for you both. What do you think of the ladies' reactions? Well, Velvet won't eat either of you, and Mogilu didn't seem sympathetic at all. See? Appearances can be deceiving. And it seems you've absorbed the lesson well. Right. I'm not like that, though. Huh? Yes. Some women use their tears to manipulate others, but not all do, and I for one despise such duplicity. The women who did that to Aizen and Rokuro are just the extreme. Yeah, I can see how much you hate dishonesty, Eleanor. Huh? Um, yeah, that's right. Be a good example for the boy, then, so he doesn't end up like Rokuro and me. I intend to do just that, whether or not you ask it of me. Eleanor is a lot stronger than she appears. Scout ship setting.
this stone. It's... It's just a rock. Take it if you want. I think it's really rare. The way it sparkles. I think it might even be bright steel. Bright steel? Never heard of it. Yeah, it's actually a rare metal used to forge weapons and stuff. You don't find it just anywhere. If there's bright steel here, that means we must be in either Endgand or Islegand. Both are a long ways off from Midgand. I doubt the Abbey has many people stationed out here. That's our pirate! Arr! Here there be treasures shiny and sentries few! At the very least, this could mean we'll be left alone for a while. Nice find, Luffy said. Thanks! Now wash your hands. Okay. The only way to learn Don't get over is to find someone to ask, I guess. You there. Got a moment? Gah! Are you guys with the sword breaker? The what? Get, get away from me! Yeah! I'm sorry, alright? Real class act. Attacking with you apologize. <laughs> sword please mighty demon I beg you I'll do anything just spare me I only wanted to ask you something you don't have to worry this woman here is an exorcist huh R right I'm Eleanor a praetor exorcist please remain calm and hear our questions you do look like an exorcist but what are you doing with ruffians like these Top secret Abbey business. That's all I can say. Now, can you tell us where we are? And are there any ports nearby? You don't know? You're on Cadnick's Island in Islegand. The port is at the other end of that ravine. I'll send a Sylph Jay to the Von Altia. Thanks. One more question. Who's this sword breaker? Ah, he's a demon. Causes lots of trouble around these parts. He only attacks sword fighters, and he breaks their blades. He's even taken down a number of Praetors. Hence the name Swordbreaker. He wields a fine sword, clearly forged in a foreign land. I tried to find his lair to steal the weapon for myself. But that's when I was attacked. A foreign sword? I'd be careful if I were you. If he spots that sword on your back... <laughs> You'll be in a world of trouble. Sounds like a real nasty fellow. 
Well, he tries to pull anything on this demon, and he's in for one munchy, crunchy surprise. <laughs> you folks are all crazy. Either way, I'd say this is a blessing in disguise for you. You're lucky to still be alive. Take this chance to abandon your life of crime. Let's find that port and meet up with our ship. Read any of this old writing? No. I've studied many languages, but I've never seen script like this before. Can you read it, Eleanor? I've never come across this language either. Where did you find a rare tome like this? Um, well... It was a lucky find at the capital. What can I say? The kid loves to read. I was surprised to see how many Malakim like to read. Pianfu does a lot of reading too. I didn't know that. It's true. I'm not sure what he's been reading, though. Did someone call for me? Bienfu, do you like to read, too? Oh, yes! Books are a treasure trove of knowledge! But I'm a greater Malakim, so the literature I enjoy might be a bit above your level, Luffy said. How to talk a human female into becoming your vessel. And... Physically escalating with cuties. <laughs> Bien? Physically escalating. What does that mean? You, you really don't need to don't know. Need to know. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'm confiscating all of these. And I have some questions. Bien Fu, you better be ready for a thorough interrogation. Bien! Huh! Get up! You look like you're having fun, Rokuro. Well, I'm a Yaksha. A Yaksha? A spirit of war? Yeah, a demon that lives for combat. But this Swordbreaker has cut down Exorcist with its foreign blade. Aren't you scared? Of dying, you mean? Yeah. I'm not afraid of dying. It's more that I'm afraid of not being alive. Huh? Fighting is my life. It's all I want to do. So I fight. That's what living means to me. Ah. <sighs> living only to kill. A demon is always going to be a demon. Well, if you're gonna be blunt. <laughs> it's not often you find bright steel above ground. I hear it's a lot of trouble to unearth, even in the regions it's normally found. Yeah. Mining for minerals takes a lot of specialized techniques and experience on the part of the prospector. They examined the soil, the water, the plants, and so on, where the same mineral was found before. Then searched similar environments for the next big find. Sure, but it's not like they succeed every time. It's all a big gamble. Isn't there a simpler way? I read in a book once that you can use a pendulum to find water and metals underground. It's called dousing. What's dousing? You hang the pendulum so it's facing the ground. Then you chant the magic word, magic Ram, and wait to be amazed. The little bit of ore on its tip will sniff out buried treasure in underground lakes like a bloodhound on a prickle boar. You don't seriously believe this. Eh, it's just like fortune telling. You win some, you lose some. That's why they call it prospecting. So, if pendulums are used for fortune telling, why the hell is Zavid running around using them as weapons? He uses wind to control its trajectory. I think it's easier for him to manipulate pendulums in a fight than something like a whip or a rope. Oh, that makes sense now. That seems pretty clever. He's probably also doing it to make himself stronger, too. Malakim broadly fall into four elemental types. Earth, water, wind, and fire. Each strong or weak against the others. Wind beats Earth. Savid is a wind Malak. So when he obtains Earth element minerals, his own strength is boosted. I never realized Malakim could be so calculating. Then if pendulums react to a Moloch's powers, 
Maybe they can actually do this dousing stuff like Magilu says. Yeah, it's worth taking that thing seriously. Zavid might like to joke around, but when it comes to fighting, he knows full well just what he's doing. He puts an awful lot of thought into that weapon of his, if you ask me. You don't? I spare all my thoughts for my sweetheart. Yeah, right. You just like to cause trouble without putting much thought into anything.
On to battle! <laughs> Wow, all sorts of things popped out! I'll end this quickly. Better be ready. Well, 
That about does it. Bye. <laughs>